beat, 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 my guy's too groovy. And we still get grungy, dreadlocks still oozy. Ladies and gentlemen, your next match of the evening, brought to you in association with I Like Protein and Top Rack Sports. We've ordered a three, three in rounds at the amateur mix. Is in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he enters the cage with a record of two victories, two defeats. Representing New Wave Academy, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jonas Grace. His opponent this evening, standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, he enters the cage with a record of one victory, one defeat. And grappling, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Solomon Hickbar. The referee in charge of the action, Mr. Salami. Huge reach advantage here from early on, David. Yeah, a lot of advantage. We good to see if he uses that. How many tall fighters do we see that end up round on the inside? It looks quite light on his feet, Dean here. On the outside, trying to control the range. Nitball's got to stay safe here, keep the hands up nice and heavy. And he's got to come in with the head movement. He's got to come underneath the shots, look for the overhand rights, look for the body shots to pull the hands down. Grace, a master of his distance here, looking for the knee early on. Hickball with a nice parry, some nice head movement. Hickball leaning back, looking for that. The counter left or the right. As of yet, it's not seen him take the shot, take the level change for the takedown. No, Grace, good job just pumping that jab out there. There's that shot you spoke about, Dean. Big double leg attempt from Hickball here. Turns the corner. Looking to pass straight into side control. Just got to drive that knee to the hip. Get the left arm to control the head. Beautiful work from Iqbal. Textbook stuff. Yeah, lovely work. Oh, saying that, Grace, though, with the momentum. Those long guys with those kind of grips, sort of Darcy-style grips, can cause you a lot of trouble. Those thin, long, wiry arms have got more strength than they seem sometimes. As it is, Iqbal does well to stay on top. Grace now working the head pressure here. He's got to get his left arm out of that position here. Yeah, working the butterfly. Looking for that butterfly sweep. Has an overhook on this side. Vic Bao trying to just crush one of those butterfly hooks down to the hips, though. Might look to pass, although the cage is in his way if he's wanting to go that side. Big Bell's posture being controlled here by the overhook to the right arm. That's why he pulled his left arm out there. Now he can. Now he's free to do some ground and pound and pass the guard. Oh, big, big heavy up kick. kick! Wow, right on the button. Big Bell, maybe he's hurt from there. I think he just lost his footing. Went down in a strange way, but might end up in side control from it. Might look for a leg lock. Yeah, Grace with those long legs, looking for the leg lock here. Previously looking for the inverted triangle. But again, he can snatch up the body, can snatch up a leg. A little bit easy, looking potentially for the knee bar here. That looks quite tight here, though. A little bit of a bend in the knee. He's not got long, that looks tight. Oh, oh. that was beautiful oh. right at the end of the round. <laughs> Just waiting for him just to switch that to the armpit grip yes. and extend. Yeah. Round two, touch of gloves. And Grace again, looking to work that footwork on the outside, puppet the jab out. And will, will it be Grace to taste this fight to the ground now? Iqbal looking for the single leg again. Iqbal looking to drag these legs and hips away of the cage. Grace frantically trying to stuff the head. He's trying to get his legs underneath him and stand to his feet. See the way he's maintaining that stiff arm to keep the head away of Iqbal. Yeah, nice control from Iqbal here. Just going to start to try and climb his way up the back, I think. Some nice punches from Iqbal there. 
but it's Grace that gets to his feet. Textbook stand up, stand up here. He's got to look to separate with the, the underhooks and circle off the cage. Grace gets the circle. He's looking to fire the knees into the body. Nick Bourne now with a shin defense, lifting his leg up there to prevent the takedown of Grace. Quite happy here to use the head, firing the knees to the legs and to the body of his opponent. Yeah, Grace content to just consolidate this position, keep chipping away. Iqbal needs to answer, really, can't stay here for too long. Big Bar having a very difficult time here due to the head pressure of Grace. Grace is driving that forehand on, underneath the chin of his opponent. Big Bar needs to drive in those. He's using the wizard just to stay up and to prevent the downward motion of Grace. Grace wants to get his head and his hips below his opponents for the takedown. But ultimately, what Big has got to do is pummel in for the underhooks. Jumps guard here, up against the cage. An interesting decision, David. Wow. I, I was just going to mention whether he, he looks slightly fatigued. I mean, it's extremely hot in this venue, it has to be said. And uh, Iqbal, he, he just didn't look like he had the had the stamina then to, you know, really crank on a wizard or get back to his feet. As his mistake by Grace allows Iqbal back to his feet, and now he's back in on the double. I'm very surprised Grace let him stand up there, to be honest, Dean. It could be that Iqbal was more kind of conscious that he could stand up better from the guard position yeah. as opposed to the, the cage, you know, jump guard, and that was a smart play. And, and, and really, Iqbal really diving deep in it to his toolbox here looking to switch to the double trying to pick the ankle there but it was the sprawl to stop that one from grace grace now looking for the dar stroke here i mentioned it in the first round these guys with the long arms it's, they can threaten with these from different positions mounting with it is a brutal way to finish the das lovato jr likes to do that a lot of pressure on the neck Iqbal ends both rounds in submissions. Looked like there's maybe a little bit of room in that one, but it certainly wasn't going anywhere. So two strong finishes. Grace looking for the jab early on. He's gauging the distance there. Could be setting up the rear hand or a leg kick. And Iqbal might look to channel this level change and time it underneath the shots, potentially catch the leg. See that he's hanging back a little bit. He's trying to draw, draw Grace in so he can change levels and gain the clinch. Referee Sam Lady calling time there. I am guessing that was for a knee to the head from standing. Going on the, the unified amateur. You want to see knees to the head of a standing opponent. Yeah, with those long limbs as well, he's got to be careful of that. What, you know, he's obviously aiming for the body, but with that longer leg, it can reach higher towards the head of Iqbal. Grace is going to have to really make sure he tweaks that up so he doesn't end up getting a, a point deducted. Yeah, especially with this height differential, you know, it's so difficult. I'm surprised Grace hasn't thrown more kicks, to be honest with you, Dean, because he's very comfortable with his jiu-jitsu, so I, I'm... I'm surprised he's not let the legs go a bit more, um, you know, with this massive reach advantage. I'd like to see him maybe maybe finish on a low kick from some of these combinations. You can see every, every now and again when the hip twitches from Grace, Iqbal will reach down, he's trying to catch the kick. I'd like to see a quick kick from Grace, fake low, then go high to the head when the hand drops of Iqbal. Yeah, possibly his corner have told him, look, this guy's looking for the double legs and the singles, just let's not give him that opportunity. So is it got back on this takedown again? Grace doing a good job of trying to lever the head off of his opponent. It's a takedown there. Like a like an inside trip from our vantage point. Grace briefly tried to end on top, end up on top, but it's Iqbal that sw switched around in that position. You can see now the long legs of Grace wrapping the head, looking for the triangle. Yeah, Iqbal needs to get some posture here. He's in a lot of trouble from this position. Cage is helping him out as it is. Needs to get some posture back. Grace, just the cage is in his way now, Dean, really, if he's looking to secure this triangle. Yeah, he's got to reach up, grab his shin, and put the top of his right foot and the back of his 
knee of his left foot there to this position. He's happy to hold his, his foot here in this position. And Nick Ball just, I mean, he's happy to sit here, but he needs to start thinking about posturing out of this position here, David. Yeah, and great credit to him. You know, his position makes it difficult to secure the triangle. He's carrying on being busy in this exchange. You know, he's chipping away at the head in the eye of the judges. Um, he's not in a full submission attempt now. He can't quite get this leg out here on the near side. That might be what we're seeing, Iqbal. Yeah. Real t that's why he's not poshed up. He's maintaining yeah, yeah. the pressure. On the left leg there, you can see he's quite contorted. Yeah. What he's trying to do is block that leg from coming up and securing the triangle position here. So, smart play by Iqbal there. Yeah. Maybe he's move it into an over-under style pass. Maybe something like that. Grace doing a good job of firing the hammer fist in keeping the distractions going, frantically trying to get that left leg out to secure the triangle position. Looking for the 100% to lever the right arm round of Iqbal to free that leg. Great grind in the arm and the elbow into the ear of Iqbal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards with the unanimous decision. Your winner in the blue corner, Jonas Gray.